Okay, the session is now starting. Thank you everybody for showing up. This is the Open eWebinars, and I want to let you know that today is the August 31st and 2010. My name is Todd Maxwell with Open eTechnical Sales, many of you know, and also introducing Tom Simon, who's also part of the Open eSales team as well. Today's session is going to be about how to install DSSV6 on a USB DOM or on a 2 gigabit volume from your RAID controller. Uh, what we're going to talk about is where to download DSSV6 and how to utilize it when you download it in different versions of the ISO and the zip file, uh, using a USB flash stick and how to make it bootable, running the software installer to install it to perform the full installation, using the USB flash stick with the 60-day trial version as well as entering your product key, and also configuring the RAID controller with 2 gigabit volume where many of you have been asking these questions. We see the tickets come in and partners and end users, and we think that this is going to help everybody. And then, of course, installing DSS v6 on the 2 gigabit volume. So without any further ado, uh, I want to introduce some of the items that we have on our webinar info, because a lot of you want to know, is it being recorded? Absolutely. You will be able to find this in usually about five days after the uh, webinar has been presented. So hopefully next week, uh, in the first part of September, you'll be able to review this. So uh, we do have it under the library's webcast, and I'll show that at the end where I usually show some of the uh, website uh, areas that a lot of you probably need to know. And also, the presentation is muted for background noise. It allows you to listen to me without interference. And of course, questions are always welcome. Uh, on the right side of your NetViewer session window, you'll see a chat message. Some of you already have, many of you are chatting. You won't be able to see each other, but I see every one of you. And I want to let you know that please uh, ask your questions. Give me a moment to go through the presentation. And I'll take a pause break to see if there are any questions. Um, or at the end of the session, I'll answer many of yours. <clears throat> what we uh, want to talk about is that the download of the DSS, the first thing we want to get into is where do you download it? Uh, this is on our website. You can click right over here where it states try. And once you get in here, you'll be able to see where you'll have the DSS trial versions, which are actually the real versions as well because you can use your product key to enter. So we're going to go onto the website. I just want to get an overview to show you where you can obtain the DSS trial version or the full version as well for updates. Now, when you get to the site, you want to be able to, so you have the option to select DSS v6, either zip version, which in this session we are going to be talking about zip version. I find that it's faster, but then there are those who do have CD-ROM capabilities or there are military sites that do not allow USB flash sticks uh, in certain high protective areas. So we do offer the CD-ROM capabilities. So here we're going to be looking at where you can download. If you look here, you'll see DSS 6.0 up 45. Uh, B means for the build, and that's 4622, which is currently the latest today. And then you want to download the zip file. There's also the quick start guide that kind of overviews what I'm going to be talking about today as well. And I always recommend the MD5 file on the bottom. This verifies that your download uh, is properly downloaded and matches the file that you did download. So that way you can eliminate issues. You notice on the right side there's sources down there that gives all our source files. So when you start off using a USB flash stick, you, any one will do. I mean, a one gig is all you really need. Uh, many of you use even greater than that. Um, but you want to be able to format it as a FAT16 or a FAT32. Now, if you're going to use a USB flash stick and you wish to use it in production, we recommend that you purchase a USB that has wear leveling support. They are a little bit more expensive due because of the reliability for the read and writes. So keep that in mind when you purchase for, in a production, use a USB flash stick. Now, once you unzip the DSS v6, when you download the zip file, you download it into a temp directory and then unpack the unzip the files and then copy the contents to the USB flash stick. Now, if you notice, once you copy, there's really only three entities that you're copying. You notice that there's the 4622, and then there's the boot directory, 
And then there's a small file is the mmnu underscore updsh file. Those are the only three files that you will be copying once you unpack the DSSV zip file. Then, once you have this onto your USB flash stick, you want to make sure that you go into the boot directory. And in the boot directory, there is the boot install exe file. And what you want to do is double click on this, and that's going to make the USB flash stick bootable. Once you complete this, safely remove the USB flash stick from your PC. Uh, and then at that point, and then you can go ahead and install the USB flash stick on your server. And then the next point would be to make sure that when you go into boot up the system, go into the BIOS of your motherboard. You want to make sure that the USB flash stick is in the first boot order. Now, many of you have the USB, uh, opening USB DOMs, which are called disk on modules. And you'll see that there will be generic USB, as we see here. But if you have uh, another USB device, that is going to be the USB flash stick that we've installed DSSV6 onto. Make sure that that is the first boot order. Uh, and then, of course, reboot the system. So let's go ahead and just do a small overview of what we just talked about. We come down to the DSS. You want to make sure when you want to download DSS, go to the download 60-day trial version. You'll see this here. Now, here's the CD-ROM version, the ISO image. And you want to burn that an ISO into your using your burning software onto the CD-ROM. And this will serve the same function. I find that the USB is much faster. So you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, where it's the zip image. You want to download this zip file and download the MD5 file. You could use any uh, internet. Uh, there's a lot of free programs that do the MD5 checks. So it's an MD5 checker, and you can use those. Also, it's very important that the quick start guides that we provide here in PDF form, uh, they go over view basically what I'm going to be talking about. And once you download the zip file, then you want to make sure that you unpack the files, and here we have the three uh, identities here, the two directories. You're going to see the build number, which is 4622, and the boot directory. And what we're going to do is, for simple reasons, we're just going to say, okay, we're going to go into the DSS directory in our temp file. We're going to unpack these, so we'll extract them here. And this only takes a few uh, seconds to complete. And now you've got the three, whoops, three files, uh, three, uh, two directories and one file. And this is where you want to copy those three only. Do not copy any of the files. Uh, many times I've seen customers actually when they format a USB uh, flash stick that they happen to have extra files, and you really don't want that in your USB flash stick. So this is all that you want to see, and if you can verify unhidden files to make sure there's no other hidden files in there or any other partitions. Now, if you notice, that here's the boot directory that we talked about. Now, if I double-click in the boot directory, I want to be able to look for the boot install exe file, and here it is. So what we want to do is double-click on this, and you'll notice that we get a little pop-up window. And here, we want to say, just hit the Enter key. And this now makes it bootable. So at this point, when you are complete, then you can go and remove, safely remove the USB flash stick and boot up to the system. And again, make sure that the USB flash stick is in the first boot order. Okay, now we want to come back into our presentation. And we'll start here, where after you set this, reboot your system for the first boot order of your USB flash stick. Then immediately you're going to be prompted once DSS boots up is you'll be provided an option to run the software installer uh, to or you can have other functionalities to run mem test. Uh, sometimes we do recommend that you do run the mem test before you install to verify it. VMware recommends this as well for their systems. So you want to go ahead and select right here for that build or any of the builds. Then the next screen which you're going to get is the option to run DSS either in 632 or 64-bit mode or run software installer. 
Now, why do we give these options? Well, the, you can, let's say, want to test the DSS in your server. Well, we give you the option to test in 32 or 64 bit mode. So if you're not just installing or upgrading or any other function, you just want to test DSS, you can run it in 64 bit mode without running the software installer. Now, since we're installing the uh, USB into whatever medium device that you're using, uh, could be a USB flash stick or other, then you want to select the software installer. And once you select the DSS v6, we'll check the source files and for consistency and then proceed to the next step, which will install the DSS v6.